Hello again. This is our third time together. We've been talking in these last three weeks about some very important issues. The first we talked about was the foundation that's been laid for our life. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the second time we got together, we spoke about the Word of God and how important it is to read the Word of God. There are many books written in the world, but this one is the important one for us to read, study and get to know because in knowing this Word, we get to know the God behind it. But today I want to talk about something that's a little bit different. I want to say that Jesus Christ is the only one worthy of our worship, that God is the God alone worthy of all praise. There is no other God. It's easy for us to think that there are other gods because when we look around the world, we see people worshiping various gods. But even here in Australia, we worship other gods. And let me say this, even as Christians, we can be idolatrous. Why? Because we seek comfort in other things. We seek to find our joy and our pleasure in things other than God. And yet God says, you can find everything in me. I bring you satisfaction. I bring you joy. It's even true every time you, you go on to your Facebook. You're looking to see how many people have pressed the like button. How many do you have? You want to be approved. We seek the approval of other people and we make that a God. See, God's the, the one who has already pressed the like button, but more than that, he's pressed the love button. He loves you. You've already approved, fully approved. You don't need to have the stamp of approval from anybody else. He's already done it for you. That's magnificent, isn't it? Now, how has he done that? He's done that by sending his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I look back upon my life, I realize that for far too long, I did not realize that my full comfort and joy can be found in him alone and I've sought to find it in other things. I've even made a God out of this person here. Everything he wants, everything he desires, that's been more important. In fact, if he were to miss out on having certain things, that would bring disappointment, lack of joy. But really, what the Bible says is, we must, as, as John the Baptist said, we must decrease and he must increase. Now, what does that mean? It means we take the focus off me and we put the focus on Him. We take the focus off other things and other people and we put it on Him. We seek our approval from Him and not from other people. He's pressed the love button and He's proved it. Now at this point in your life as a young person, or as a middle-aged person, or even as an older person, if you haven't understood the Gospel, you haven't understood what I've just said. Because the Gospel sets us free from idolatrous worship. The Gospel says, you're fully approved already. Isn't that magnificent? 